Hi everybody, I'm going to do a little demonstration of Infogram. It's an infographics generator and so this is my very first experience using infographics generators. So I looked at a few different um, options but I chose Infogram because the free version has the ability to include video, pictures, different kinds of charts, and I like the look of the infographics that were created with Infogram. So here we go. I have to admit it was a bit of a learning curve for me but so was um, Lucid Chart and some of these other kinds of visual data graphics and stuff so maybe that's just my Achilles heel. I just need to practice more I guess. Alright so you go to Infogram, you sign up for a free account, you then have this really nice simple clean interface where you create if you've already created some, you've got your little library, and then of course you can upgrade to Pro, but it's just not necessary at the moment. So you just go to Create, and then the very first thing that will happen is you will choose your the look of your design. Um, so kind of simple, but simple's good. So let's just say I want to go with this one. So you just click Use Design. and then it'll load up at some point. Here it is. Okay, so this infographic has a variety of different components. So they've kind of given you a standard template and here is the title of your infographic. So you just double click and you know infographic explained. Let's say that's what my title is. And then you can maybe use a nice quote. So my infographic that I actually ended up doing for this um, example, I've got a quote here from The Little Prince. And so this, my infographic, was about Typhoon Haiyan. And so there was a, a quote from The Little Prince that I liked. So I've got that there in my infographic. So they suggest here that you've got your quote. Um, then down here, so it defaults to this line graph here. Um, so if you were to double click this, it's going to default to your line graph and you can't do anything but a line graph if you just double click that in there. And so you can actually just put your cursor in and change all of these labels and the data. You can also load data, let's say if you've got a file that you can upload or if you've got live data that you want to upload as well. Now, you then, if you don't want a line graph, you just click, you know, exit out and then so over here on the side are your options for what you can add into your infographic. So I kept trying to grab and pull them over and drop them. That doesn't work. So you actually have to click and then it'll give you a choice. And so this has a lot of beautiful graphs. Um, you can choose different kinds of bar graphs. They've got different kinds of um, column graphs pie charts, line graphs, um, area, scatter, bubble. Now the thing is, I was kind of trying to play with these myself and, and I'm just so very elementary when it comes to like math, statistics, and all of that stuff. Um, so I, I really did have a little frustration, but I think if you played around with it enough or if you already kind of understood graphs and charts and how they all kind of work together with the axis and, and everything, um, you could really do some beautiful, beautiful things. So I would like to at some point, because you've got all these different kinds of um, charts that you can use. Uh, and then over here, you can add a map, but the thing about the map, again, you really have to kind of understand what you're doing. So it's a, a graph, and you your data then for your map, uh, you can see over here, if you double click the map, so it's again, a a chart with data in it and so I don't really understand how that works or you would just have to know how to set up your graph so that it represents itself on a map appropriately. Uh, then down here you've got different kinds of text. You can add another headline, you can if you create a chart this is where you put the chart title. Uh, quotes, you can add another quote, body text, so just regular text, Facts and figures, I really like this one. So I used this in my the one that I created to show in my blog. Um, so this is where you've got the really, um, oh, and so they drop everything that you add just gets dropped to the bottom. So you just have to scroll down to find it. So this is where you can get those really neat, um, you know, big impressive statistics. 
So to double to edit that, you just double click, and then it's neat. So here you can just say what's the label, what's the figure, and then you can actually say what what little icon do you want. So let's say I want to change this to be a circle, and you see on my live chart it changes to a circle. Maybe I want it to be a girl. So you got that, and then you can just add more. So I really liked that um, one. I think that's a really beautiful and powerful way to represent um, big numbers or you know interesting numbers. Um, you can add a picture. So at the moment you can only add a picture that's saved to your computer as opposed to from a URL, but that's fine. Add a video. And it actually prompts you for YouTube or Vimeo addresses. Pretty nice, really easy. So I was easily able to add my um, Tacloban happy video, which I really like. So you just kind of add what you want, and then you can change the order. So you just drag and drop. Really pretty simple. Um, and then when you're finished, you click, and, and if you want to change themes, just click settings, change theme, done. You can change the width. Uh, you can change what kind of buttons you want people to be able to share it on. And then to share it, give it a title. Um, publish. So free, you can do publish to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, view it on the web. Um, I was not able to get this responsive script because it's JavaScript to put go into my um, blogger. I think maybe blogger doesn't accept JavaScript. But I was able to get the iframe. So I think hopefully that should work on WordPress as well. Certainly it worked on Blogger. Um, and then if you ever want to edit it, you just have to go back here, click pu share, publish, and then unpublish, and then make your changes, and then you just republish it. So like I said, you know, it takes a little time playing around with it, but no harm, just uh, clicking around and seeing what happens when you press different buttons. And you can make some really cool um, and amazing infographics. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.